Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. In today's video, we are going to study some important multiple choice questions for GPAT. These questions are also important for the pharmacist who is preparing for government pharmacist exam, drug inspector, drug analyst, NIPER and other pharmacist competitive exam. This series will be subject wise. Let's start. The first question is Diazoxide is used mainly in treating. Diazoxide is used mainly in treating. Options are option A severe shock, option B diabetic coma, option C high diastolic pressure, option D massive hemorrhage. Okay, what was the question? Diazoxide is used in the treatment of the correct answer for this question is option C high diastolic pressure. Diazoxide is used mainly in the treatment of high diastolic pressure. What is diazoxide? Diazoxide is a vasodilator which is used as an antihypertensive drug. We studied the name diazoxide under antihypertensive drug. The main adverse effect of diazoxide is hyperglycemia. It will increase the sugar level in the blood. Why? Because this diazoxide will inhibit the insulin release or diazoxide can suppress the release of insulin. That's why it causes hyperglycemia diazoxide. Okay. Now we are moving to the next question. Question number two. Which one of these drugs is a uterine relaxant? Uterine relaxant. Which one of these drugs is? A uterine relaxant. Options are isosoprene. Option B, methoxamine. Option C, metaraminol. Option D, amphetamine. Which one has got uterine relaxant action? The correct answer is option A, isosoprene. Okay. Uterine relaxants are also called tocolytic. Tocolytic. That means, toco means childbirth. Lytic means to terminate that means termination of childbirth or prevention of childbirth that is isosoprene can be used to delay the labor or it can stop premature labor okay uterine relaxants are used to stop premature labor okay isosoprene is a beta 2 agonist beta 2 receptor agonist isosoprene now we are moving to the next question, question number 3. Drug used in the treatment of Wilson's disease. Wilson's disease. What is Wilson's disease? It is a genetic disorder that causes high amount of copper in the body or it causes copper poisoning. Okay. So which of the following drug is used in the treatment of Wilson's disease? Options are option A haloperidol option b propranolol option c benzotropin option d penicillamine okay drug used in the treatment of wilson's disease the correct answer is option d penicillamine because penicillamine can chelate this excess amount of copper and it can form a soluble complex that can be easily removed or it can be easily excreted through urine. Okay. Penicillamine can chelate copper molecule. It can chelate copper and form a soluble complex that can excrete easily through urine. Now we are moving to the next question. Question number four. Yohimbin is a. What is Yohimbin? Options are alpha 2 blocker. Option B, alpha 1 blocker. Option C, beta 1 blocker. Option D, beta 2 blocker. The correct answer is option A, alpha 2 blocker. This is a simple question. Next question, question number 5. Drug of choice for overdose with the digoxin. What is the drug of choice for overdose with the digoxin? Or what is the drug of choice in case of 
डिजॉक्सिन टॉक्सिसिटी द ऑप्शन आ लिडोकेन ऑप्शन बी कैल्शियम ऑप्शन सी डिजॉक्सिन एंटीबॉडीज ऑप्शन डी क्यूनिडिन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी डिजॉक्सिन एंटीबॉडीज इट्स आल्सो कॉल्ड डिजी बाइंड ओके डिजॉक्सिन एंटीबॉडीज आर आल्सो कॉल्ड डिजी बाइंड और डिजॉक्सिन इम्यून फाब ओके और इन शॉर्ट डिजी फाब ओके नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 बुस्पिरोन इज ए बुस्पिरोन इज ए व्हाट इज बुस्पिरोन ऑप्शंस आर एगोनिस्ट ऑप्शन बी पार्शियल एगोनिस्ट ऑप्शन सी एंटागोनिस्ट ऑप्शन डी इनवर्स एगोनिस्ट ओके व्हाट इज बुस्पिरोन हाउ इज द इट्स एक्शन बुस्पिरोन वी नो दैट इट्स इट इज अ एंटी एंजाइटी ड्रग बुस्पिरोन इज अ एंटी एंजाइटी ड्रग इट इज एक्टिंग थ्रू पार्शियल एगोनिस्ट at the site of 5 ht1 receptor okay it is a partial agonist correct answer is option b partial agonist okay buspirone is a partial agonist of 5 ht1 receptor now we are going to the next question question number 7 the mandox test uses the mandox test uses what is mandox test mandox test is a diagnosis test for tuberculosis it is the diagnosis test or you can say it is a screening test to the tuberculosis options the mandox test uses options are old tuberculin option b diphtheria toxin option c serum antigen option d polysaccharide antigen the mandox test uses the correct answer is option a old tuberculin old tuberculin question number 8 drug of choice in motion sickness drug of choice in motion sickness options are atropin option b scopolamin option c berberin option d metoclopramide option a atropin option b scopolamin option c berberin option d metoclopramide the correct answer drug of choice in motion sickness is option b scopolamin scopolamin okay next question question number 9 which of the following is a laxative and acid which of the following is laxative and acid okay options are magnesium salt option b aluminum salts option c calcium salts option d iron salts so which of the following is laxative and acid the correct answer is option a that is magnesium salts aluminum salts causes constipation okay magnesium salts causes laxative effect magnesium salt causes laxative effect and aluminum salts causes constipation okay next question question number 10 the most common side effect of verapamil the most common side effect of verapamil options are bradycardia option b psoriasis option c cardiac arrhythmia option d constipation the most common side effect of verapamil the correct answer is option d that is constipation verapamil main side effect is constipation thank you for watching this video hope you understood all the questions if this video is helpful for you kindly share the video with your pharmacy friends also thank you